Welcome back everyone, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I haven't used a mic because as you can tell I've lost my voice. Uh, this is one of the things about having a kid. It feels like I'm always sick. I mean I am always sick. I've been sick a lot. Um, but at least it's in winter so I'm getting out of the way now. I was actually sick for a bit of summer. Jesus, I've always been sick. Um, hopefully I'm going to get over it soon and our kid will stop getting sick. But yeah, so welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. So anyone who follows me on Instagram knows that I really, really like painting bikes. Um, I've had a couple of projects that I've done and Spray Bike is this company that make awesome paint. They won't get it to focus, probably not. Um, yeah, these guys. There we go. So these guys rock. Um, they've come with a paint that's basically really good. You can spray pretty much over any anything. You don't need to go crazy with the prep. And... It's really easy to do, it doesn't run that easily, so it is really, really, really good. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it at home, and we all like love custom painted frames, but they're crazy expensive, so Spray Bike is a really cheap and efficient and good way of doing it. So, what I will say is, the more time you spend like prepping your frame, like sanding, getting a really, really fine like sandpaper and getting it all soft and smooth, um, the better it will obviously turn out. Um, I did one that I took ages doing, and then the other one, the second one I did was this. And it looks all right from a distance, but when you get out close, it's a bit rough. So I could have like worked it out better, but it, it's a crit frame and a crit bike, and I wasn't too fussed about it being perfect. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is I've got this frame, and anyone who follows me on Instagram knows I painted this track frame a while back. So this has been painted with spray bike stuff, but it's such a tough and durable paint. There's nothing quite like it when it comes to painting a bike. So what I'm going to do is I want to paint this more like this. And the cool thing about the paint is you get this like fluoro yellow and this is what I use for this half. And if you paint over it with this, what's it called? Fluoro yellow clear, it turns it orange, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so if you've got fluoro yellow and you paint over it with fluoro yellow clear, it turns it orange. So it does a really nice fade and it makes it look really pro, um, even though I'm not. So yeah, good stuff. So basically what I'm gonna do is I've got these colors. I've got like fluoro yellow, a fluoro clear which will turn it fluoro orange. I've got this fluoro pink and a fluoro magenta. So I want to know for you guys is, Right, so how do I paint this bike? Like, do I do a fade like this? Is that a bit of a cop out doing it exactly the same? Do I do some weird stencily stuff? Um, go on Squid Bike's Instagram account. Um, they do all the painting of the frames that they build with spray bike paint. And um, they're awesome. So maybe get some ideas from there and leave your comments below how I should paint it. So I do only have these colors, so it is. <coughs> Let me just do this again. I've got four colours essentially, I've got these three, which is yellow, pink and magenta and then when I clear over the yellow it will turn it orange. So essentially I've got four colours, so what do I do? I'd like you to leave your comments below and let me know what you think I should do. Uh, I might listen to them, I might not, but I really want to know, yeah, and I'm really interested to see how it comes out and I will give it a build afterwards, so my next video, because this is really quick, my next video should be frame all painted so say bye bye to this frame because there's going to be a new one coming very 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 soon you'll be able to see another video sooner rather than have to wait two weeks for one um apologies and i will catch you all later